if that's the case, let's give them what they want. Why is your <coughs> trying to get me fired when the one day that I wasn't going to be there? Let's talk about that boogie. What? <laughs> What's up, ladies and gentlemen? You're listening to Lol Cow Live. As always, I am Boogie Two Nine Eight Eight. I am with Jordy Jordan and Tommy, and I. I'm not even gonna give you guys a chance to introduce yourself or talk because I got to get right into this Anissa stuff. We did a live show on Anissa last night. For those of you who did not pay attention, Anissa Joma, which is I Dubs' girlfriend, the woman who effectively ruined I Dubs, Ian. And uh, well, her reaction to it has been fascinating. Uh, Tommy, you said you had something to say about that, huh? Yeah, like, um, well, during the live, like, you know, they said during the live stream, like, she's streaming live, right? So I, I, I went and I went and go check, I, I check it out, and and uh, she she wasn't pulling, yeah, two hundred, yeah. which my loser. Ass can I streamed once channel. a month for the last three, three years, you know, three and I four. still pull one hundred and fifty to two hundred. I pull more than she does. She's a pretty big streamer, one point Twitch, you know. So the way it was really interesting the way she framed it. Um, it was a bunch of losers that wanted to. Well, that, her fans framed it this. They wanted to really sleep with her, um, and and she kind of went back to the thing that she did before. She didn't have a mental breakdown or anything. She was deliberately doing it to get our attention. So that she kind of continued that theme a little bit, where it's it's just amazing. All I have to do is get their attention. I did it with the intention of like getting it shared. Um, and it's interesting how like um, how predictable that is. Crying about her, crying, we like complaining about. <laughs> how, we were just, I don't know, roasting her. That's what I thought, you know. So it's basically we're a bunch of guys that you know want to clap her cheeks. We can't, so we make fun of her. You know, that's sort of like trying to portray us to be like. like I, the I mean, I've had better. I've had better. <laughs> I'll just be honest. Well, I paid for it, but I've had, how much was yeah, it? Yeah, I paid for it, but I had it. You know. <laughs> I've had better, and you know what? She didn't ruin my career either. So yeah, you know. I'm, I'm over here wondering, like, how much did the Anissa well, I mean, cost, Boogie? Do you remember? Probably five hundred. Probably five hundred dollars. Yeah. yeah, to spend an evening with her, take her out somewhere, go to dinner with her, take her back to my room and hang out. It was probably about five hundred bucks. Yeah. yeah, stupid waste of money. Don't get me wrong. See, well, you know, because you know you know, nice tits you, you, can only get you so far. Um, if you turn out to be a poison, you want to talk to them. You want like a relate to like yeah. That's yeah. You know what? I, maybe I get that now. Yeah. I don't know. Like you know, to me that's like a lot less. I, I know we hit on this all the time. Because I'm, personally, I'm fucking curious, Boogie. How yeah. many women do you think you've slept with? Like ballpark it. I don't know. I, like I said, a lot of it was not right, about let me, the sex. Let me help you out here. A lot of it was is about it, the companionship and loneliness and stuff. So uh, probably is it over probably 50? under probably around fifty, if I had to guess. But okay. that's also with including that, every that, woman I ever slept with. Outside of that I, hobby and everything else, I, too, I was kind of you know? hoping, I, I was hoping you'd include all of them. So yeah, let me yeah, ask you this: 50. Does it ever get to the point? Because my body count is twelve, right? Sure, my body count is twelve. Does it ever get to the point where it, it's all the same? It all kind of blends into each other. Because there was a period yes, in my life very that, quickly, that I, actually. Yeah, I, 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 I dubbed the hoe phase, where you get tired of going to restaurants. You get tired of asking the same questions. You get tired of just doing the whole song and dance, like. Where are you from? What do you do for a career? You know, even the it all kinds of blends together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It does. You uh, actually, that's one of the reasons you want to do the whole, like, go out with them and have dinner with them and hang out with them and take them somewhere and enjoy their company because otherwise you're just masturbating into another person's body, and that's awful and disgusting, and who wants to do that? That doesn't make any sense to me. A lot of people the, want to do that, Boogie. <laughs> I, I don't. Yeah, that's beyond but me. I don't you understand won't, that. You, like... You like the hunt, but you played the hunt on easy mode. Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know. like to me, a bikini is sexier than nude, right? Because yeah. you create the I, illusion. You Like, you don't know what she actually has, but you can kind of see, you know, Or like everything. a really nice fitting dress that's kind of like mm -hmm. flowy and sparkly. I bought Desi a couple of really great dresses. Y'all ain't seen them yet, but boy, she looks amazing in them. And a lot of guys don't talk about it because as soon as you talk about it, you're labeled as like, you know, gay, you know, because yeah. like, it's like, okay. Oh, let them think whatever they want. I think a, a, I think a dressed up sexy woman who's put in some effort, uh, like a, any dude looks good in a suit, right? Like put on a suit, every guy looks a little bit better. Uh, and any woman looks good in a dress, and that's just put a little effort in. You're gonna look I, I better. I don't know if our boy Cyrex would look better in a suit. 
No. 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 Did you just picture that dude in like a suit with like shoulders? You know, like how some suits kind of mm-hmm. like fake the shoulders. Where we to go to, back, we can go we, back let's go this. back to Anissa for one more second. I do have one thing yeah, to say. Yeah, that's what I was okay. going to say. Same thing. Same I, I may have spent $500 on the Anissa clone, but I only have to spend, I think, nine ninety nine for Anissa, and that's interesting. If you think about it, she's really mm-hmm. devaluing that's all, that's all herself. I, I don't know how much it is. It's probably in that neighborhood. I'll have to look it up, you know. I don't think she's on OnlyFans anymore. Oh, good. For no, her. but I, I think the whole thing with it, Anissa is a megalomaniac. Um, and it, it, it was some, I let, let me read the definition of megalomaniac, right? Um, it's, it, tell me if this doesn't fit her perfectly. Someone who has a naturally strong wish for power and control or thinks they're much more important and powerful than they really are. <laughs> I'm not a full-blown narcissist. I have narcissistic tendencies and tools in my toolbox, though. But like I said, who better to recognize a narcissist than a narcissist? And yeah, she's megalomaniacal, but I think that's part of the narcissism. Um, mm-hmm. And like, I think she's, if I were, I can't, obviously, I can't like uh, let's, let's diagnose, diagnose her anybody, Dr. Right? Wings. But if, Dr. Wings. in my opinion, I think that she's a self-hating narcissist who thinks she's different but because she's different, she thinks she's above everyone else. Um, I think. Well, yeah. I mean, look at the thing: is like none of you had a real job now, and then she uses Dairy Queen and a pet store, you know, college jobs, high school jobs, yeah, as to show that she is more grounded, more. Te- also, like, I've had two real jobs. The, I worked security for three years at the Hyper Building. I I, I wash yeah. dishes in a Mexican restaurant. I, I I've had real jobs, Anissa. I don't know. What but you're... I but here's the thing: those really aren't job. They're jobs. They're not careers. No, I mean, not. like geez, these are real jobs. So so you, so you did like five of well, well okay, it used to be five in the states. I, 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 had, I was a crane operator and a metallurgist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a real like. All right, yeah, you have a trade, a union, or something like that. She thinks like that was you know high end stuff. I mean that that's the megalomania right there. Like I am a, I I worked at Dairy Queen. Dairy you know, Queen. I was with all you losers at one point. You know. And, and the whole thing is, like, everybody knows she's talking about Rusty Cage when she supposedly made somebody cry. She didn't make Rusty Cage cry. Like, that's not true. He folded, right? He kind of folded and said, yeah, 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 I'm sorry, right? And she took that as, like, I got him. I have a pat. Like, you know, he, he just didn't want to be bothered. And it's like, it's like Froggy said, he's, he's like, a, I've worked with him. I've done podcasts with, with Rusty. He's a sensitive guy. He's not, like... A tough guy. He's not obnoxious like me. He's not real strong-willed like me. So Do I'm you think you're a sensitive well. man? No, but I know guys that are way worse than me. Okay. I feel like typical fatherless behavior in men uh, tends to be like number one, they don't know how to shut up about their feelings. Uh, so you tend to like just like you don't you never had anybody tell you to like shut up and be a man. So you didn't you don't know how to do that. Um, and the oh, second yeah. is you don't know really how to like be tough you don't know how to stand up for yourself because you never had anybody slap you in the face for being a piece when you were a teenager your mom might have done it but it's way different coming from your dad um and so yeah i think we're referring to boogie act my dad never slapped me in the face especially well i mean again i was born in 19 (laughs) i was born in 1974 if you made it to 15 and your dad didn't deck you then you didn't have a dad Um, you had two dad didn't make it to age three but yeah (laughs) He left. Yeah, okay, that's he just, true. He, 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 he would have beaten you. Did, he would have beaten you if he stuck did, around. Did your dad just dip out on you, Wings? Yeah, 100%. Like, he didn't come back to my oh, life until awesome. I was, like, 19. And, and then, what did he like, say? Nothing. He offered me a job doing countertops, and I did that for a summer, and then we kind of fell apart. What happened? I didn't like doing I countertops. I mm. mean, like, I, he was a drunk. I didn't really want to hang around with him. Got our sep- went our separate ways. Is that kind of weird though? They're like, "This is my dad. This is the guy that gave birth to me," and like, we can't even connect at any level. It's like kind of weird. I yeah, mean, we were I'm, I'm completely like, different people. But like, I was raised more by my grandparents, to be perfectly honest. Yeah. And my grandfather was a diesel mechanic, and I, I went. I, I looked at him more like my father than I, my actual father, who's still alive. Do you, do you know? I I stayed in Germany because, like, I didn't want to. Like, I, I knew all these Americans that just like dipped out. They made babies and bounced. You know. Mm-hmm. Right. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes like, 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 you know, you see and, and you see it like it's, it, it's white. I'm not saying it's, it's only black guys. It's not. It's white guys, too. All right. Mm-hmm. But I know when I see a German kid that has darker skin, I know he's American. You know what I mean? There's so many soldiers that do that over here because like I, I didn't want to be I didn't want to be that guy, you know. And my the, the my the, what terrified me was when I go back home. Oh, how's, you know, your daughter? And you don't know, 
<laughs> you know, like well, that. That was so. I, I, I stayed. Yeah. I stayed and I stayed and fought because I just didn't want that. You know, I, it was always terrifying to, to think that my kid wouldn't know who I was. Like completely terrifying to me. I don't understand like why your dad didn't feel the same way. I don't understand why anybody doesn't feel the way. I. By the way, I'm not virtue signaling here, right? Sometimes guys have good reasons to leave. Their wife's crazy. They're not going to get a fair shake in court. I'm not dismissing all them. Yeah, of course. But I don't. I don't get. I, I, I got to buy every dad that takes off is sometimes there. There's rare occasions where it's actually the right thing to do because it's just too crazy a situation and their life will get ruined. And by the way, I lost every time I, I had in Iraq, and the only way I would have survived this if, if my wife didn't come through. Some people you know? are just wired differently, and like they genuinely just don't give a. Shit. I think a lot of people are just so far up their own asses. They don't give a shit about their friends. They don't give a shit about their family. They don't give a shit about anything else. It's all about using, manipulating, hurting other people. Um, maybe they accidentally got somebody pregnant. Maybe they got somebody pregnant, didn't want the responsibility. Maybe they got them pregnant on purpose and just realized they aren't father material. You know, there's supposed to be that moment when you hold your son. I'm not a parent, but they say there's a moment when you hold your child for the first time. Even as a dad, you get that instant bond. What happens no, it's if instant. you pick, it's instant. Yeah, what if you pick up that child and you feel nothing? Right? Like, do you stick around for 18 years? And like, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think I would stick it out. I would hope that I would feel that moment. But I feel like I, some I of these dads could, like, don't like, feel sh I, I've had that moment, right? And it's like, it's the most, like, if I see a birth, like, on YouTube, I want to throw up. But there's something about when you're actually there and it happens that it's just, like, complete fucking magic. How could Wing's dad do that to him? I, and then there's so many guys like Wing's dad, you know? I know guys like Wing's dad. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. So here's what I'm I understanding from all of this. Uh, the takeaway is that what happens to you when you're raised by your grandparents is you become Jordy. That's what we've learned. <laughs> Yeah. Either that, either that, or report of the week. If you guys know him, I think like I think he's like you know. The, there's a reason you're waking up at 14 and putting on a suit every day. It's because your granddad taught you to, and your parents weren't around to tell you that ain't how it works no more, kid. But Anissa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but well, Anissa. I, I don't. I want to. I want to go jump seconds on. out talking about ourselves. Hold on. Let really me like say. Totally let me say that. one more thing about Anissa. Mm -hmm. Um, so if you guys remember when we were preparing for the fight, um. I e dubs I dubs made fun of me and Jordy for preparing for our fight, and he's like, "Oh, look at the fat clowns over at at uh, you know, I mean, I'm being hyperbolic Misfits. specifically. What he said was, look at the talent over there and, at uh, Happy Punch, Misfits. right? And then he yeah. made fun of us for being fat or misfits, yeah. Um, then Anissa last night is like, "Oh, those two losers, they those losers on that show, they have so many problems, they can't even comment on 99 percent of, of humanity." That's twice we've caught these people dunking on fat people. Now, that's fine. Maybe fat people deserve to be dunked on, but you can't uh, you. tell me in one hand. We're super progressive. We're ultra progressive. We're the most progressive people in the world. I'm an ultra feminist. He's an ultra cuck now. You can't call yourself progressive and just shit all over somebody for being differently abled. What are you doing? Yeah, yeah, what are yeah, you yeah, doing? Yeah. How about this? How about this? You can, and they always do. I have never seen like these so-called progressives that give a shit. When they find somebody that's that in their mind is okay to fuck with, then all the misogyny, all the racism comes out. I, I saw Chank, you know, the guy from the Young Turks, Hassan's. He was interviewing a woman who was kind of on the right leaning side. And then she said something. She said something I, did, I disagreed with too. She said women were better off post. Um, I don't know if it's true or not. Like that was her opinion. Her, they were better off uh, post women getting jobs, right? You know what Chank's responsible for, for that? Make me a fucking sandwich. Bitch. Go out there and make me a sandwich. Make me a sandwich. Like, that was her response to this woman who has, admittedly, a, fr a fringe idea. Um, so it doesn't really surprise me that Anissa does, Anissa does that because I see all these progressives doing that. They will go to the right, like, if you're black, you're, 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 um, you know, you're, 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 you're sucking off the white man. If you're a woman, then you're a self-hating woman. So, no, no, that's pretty consistent with progressivism as far as I know. I have never been mocked by the right the way I have been mocked from the left for being fat, for my history, for my everything. They don't give a f And I'm the type of person that just because I have wrong think doesn't give you the right to sh it all over me. I'm the person you guys used to champion back in the 90s, used to champion the disabled, used to champion people who've been through trauma, used to champion that type of person. Now you guys, oh, go, oh, oh my God, oh my God, he follows the wrong person on Twitter. Sh down his throat as i've gotten so. older I've, I've gotten less into politics than more oh yeah 110 both yeah but we're not really like, talking about politics we're just talking about who the two yeah, sides i'm just saying like left side you know? right side they're both got people that you can hate on
Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, 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 not, I'm not trying to make a play for the right. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to say the right is good, the left is bad here. I'm just saying, like, like, our, 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 let's look at it. Like, you guys probably connect with this. Well, stuff, let's look at it this I, way. I, I, I live down south. They wanted south. to talk about mine and Boogie's fight, and like I pointed out the other day, we doubled the views of the entire yeah. event, not just I Dub's fight. She the didn't crack 200 yeah. until we started talking about her during the stream. By the she way, I, I went, and when the, and when and when Keem told us don't raid her, it went down to 150. Yeah, yeah. I, I looked I her up 250 on, building Fallout 4. How does the trail boss handle with extra weight on the driver's side? It mm. handles good. I looked her up on Twitch during that stream, and mm. I didn't say anything. I didn't do anything, and they automatically blocked me from chat. They were looking for my username, which is insane. And I have nothing, like I would watch Anissa live stream a video game. I don't have a problem with her, right? Just because I'm critical of her behavior doesn't mean I have a problem with you. Uh, you know, I, no. I, I do think you did utterly uh, emasculate and destroy Ian. But, you know, other than that, that, that uh, that's more critical of your behavior than you. It, it's interesting. It's fault. interesting. It's interesting that she says that those guys have way bigger problems than me. Yet they concentrate on me, or that's I'm I'm paraphrasing, but like, wh wh why why is making a stream on your your antics somehow having a problem with you? Like I I goof on Boogie and Wings and and all these people, all these YouTubers. I never necessarily have a problem with them, but that's what a megalomaniac she thinks she is. Oh, they're only doing it because I'm so great. I mean, that's like that's what's gotten you into trouble to begin with. Here's how I yeah. can prove. Here's how I can prove that Anissa thinks very little of herself. She said um, she will not come on Log Cow Live. If I remember correctly, the quote is, "Editor, feel free to look this up." She said, "I'm not going to debate with a dude who spent most of his money on escorts." The reality of it is, it's an easy win. I'm an idiot, Anissa. All you've got to do is show up, and I'm going to put my foot in my mouth because I'm a fucking moron. She's dumber and than you. And you won't do it. You won't do she's, it for what? She's dumber than you, and you're in the right. She'll get destroyed. Yeah, Just maybe, like you destroyed uh, all those fucking crazy lefties a couple months ago with Game of Game. You'll destroy yeah. them. Because, like, you don't even have to be, like, a Destiny Master debater. <laughs> that sounded funny. <laughs> um, you don't even have to You don't have to do that to be because you're in the right. So you'll, she'll look ridiculous no matter what. That's why she's not I think I, I think Froggy said last night, and I think it's the easiest criticism you can give. Uh, to Anissa, which is just be kind to your husband, just be kind to other people, and God forbid, Anissa, just be kind to yourself. But that's and, not what and, she. And that's uh, not what everything she will get you. a little bit better if you choose well, to do this. Well, I don't know why. Like I, I totally disagree with Unfroggy on this. Like if, all right, this is me speculating. All right, in fairness to both of you, right? Just be kind. What makes you think she wants to be kind? What makes you think that that was the intention to marry her? The the, the intention was to build. The um, you know, the, to build herself in the eyes of the, the world, build herself in the eyes of the internet as some kind of great mind or thinker or something like that, or or just at, at very least like somebody has a lot of clout. That that's why she married him. And the, I I think what you're seeing is the frustration is she didn't marry who she thought she married. That's yeah. what you're saying. Thank why? That's why you bring it up. Like, but this still, thing be, nice dead. Dead. But still be nice. Still be nice. Still be nice. When you say this, are you trying to insinuate that she doesn't actually love Ian? She's just using him as a uh, yeah. Stepping stone? Sure, sure, sure. And I'll tell you why. Because she checks everything in the megalomaniac block. What's she sitting there doing? Oh, those guys really have problems. That's why they're doing this. Oh, look how I can control them. Look how powerful I am. Right? Look at the look at look at the uh, tweet that I put uh, put out there where she calls herself. Like a, a mother and a uh, um, a matriarch and what have you. Everything's about her power and her position kids? in society. Thank you for noticing that I have managed to protect my womb from a parasite for the past thirty years. It is a talent. This is like, like I was it's like uh, she put a tweet out. So like this is like mother, mommy, matriarch, and and it's like a, a sexy picture of her or some attempt, attempted sexy picture. And I wrote megalomaniac at the bottom. Right. So like, no. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying it right now. Probably not. And here's why I'm saying that, because the women I've met in my life that behave this way are selfish. That's simple. So it's not really like that much of a jump that she married him for YouTube cloud. A couple of weeks well, before I, I she started dating you, is she him. actually a mother? What? It doesn't matter. It's, well, no, I don't think she is. <laughs> and she still took the title anyway. Like you're, kind of you're kind of proving my point. You're kind of you're kind of proving my point, right? So like like this is how she views herself. So yeah, I, I'm sure she doesn't. Look, weeks before she started dating him, right? Guess who she was hitting on publicly, right? Who? Leafy. Keemstar. Oh. Leafy. Really? Yeah, you didn't know really? that. Really. 
See, that again creates the pattern of I want to destroy one of these toxic men to me. If she was going after Leafy, who she viewed as toxic, now uh, she settled for uh, iDubs? Or maybe he was the bigger guess target? Guess what iDubs' next video was right after that happened? It was on Leafy! The, the famous Leafy oh. video. Someone disappeared, huh? No, he's just his chin disappeared. One thing I do believe her is the Tana Mojo thing, right? The Tana Mojo thing was she claims it was her idea. Yeah, I believe that. Guess who was watching Tana Mojo and getting all jealous? Her! Because Tana Mojo was at the top of the female scene of the YouTube at that time. Wow. Yeah, and then yeah, he did it. Yeah. So, yeah, I absolutely do. This was a grift. This is a, yeah, I can absolutely believe no, that. They, now, this is, it, uh, you, don't yeah. got, you guys don't see the Grace thing with Keemstar going the same route as Anissa and, and, and iDubs? What do you mean? How do you mean? Elaborate. Like great, yeah. uh, Grace, is, <laughs> Grace is obviously trying to get in with Keemstar, obviously. Yeah, duh. And Keemstar yeah. is entertaining it. If he wasn't entertaining yeah. it, he wouldn't bring her up every week on the live show. Oh, like she's oh, you know she's also admitted to, to crashing the party. Well, what is he entertaining, Wings? <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, we well, entertain. <laughs> she's move, she's he's, moving he's, in to be the cuck. What's happening here? You, no, 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 I'm just saying. Like, are you saying he wants to smash? Is that what he's saying? I mean, yeah, no. I'm saying that. Yeah, Keemstar is interesting. He's not, he's not admitting uh, it, but like you could tell by the body language. He is entertaining the idea of keeping her company around. And she even joked about uh, going to the party in the 4th of July at Keem's house. That's Down in Florida. Happen. Down in Florida. <laughs> She'll show up. She will be there. I guarantee you Grace will be there. Here's the thing. Okay, Grace is, I don't know how good of an actress she is. I get the strong feeling that she's acting and obviously do, playing the character when she's on our show. Uh, that said, I don't know how much of it is a character and her real situation ain't great. And so I'm telling you, whoever you are, whether you're a Keemstar or anyone else, keep your dick out of crazy. I I've been well, there a couple of well, times. The boogie, boogie, you're saying her situation Woo! ain't great. Her situation is average female. Most females are got a sheen dress on outside the club with $12 in their account. Looking oh, for a guy that's six man. foot tall or higher. You know, you do know Keith has a has a steady girlfriend. You guys both know that, right? I know who Brantley is. I follow yeah, but, her. She uh, follows yeah, me. But the, yeah, they but admitted, I'm saying uh, Keem that, Star admitted that Keem is, having that extracurricular activities Keem isn't right here on the show. Down. Are you saying do you not, that if do you not agree was that. alone with this broad that he cheat on her? No, I didn't say that. I'm saying I that think on this show, on this Keem, show, and he isn't shutting it down. On this show, Keem Stars it said Brantley was by. And I asked him, do you guys play around? And he goes, yeah, of course, obviously. Uh -huh. And I'm like, okay, so there you go. So I, I, I just, uh, uh, by Keemstar's own admissions, my girl is not cheating on me. She took sexy pictures with another sexy or, woman. But he, right, I asked him during one of the live streams and he said, yes. And I was like, uh, that's Grace is like the, the third wheel in that situation, which I don't know why you would want that. I can't imagine. I, I can't imagine it's worth having to get a, a, a one week's course of antibiotics afterwards. <sighs> uh, I'm well, not I, touching that with a <laughs> <laughs> Well, you can, you can not touch it. I, I mean, I've been, I've, I, I'm this is what I've noticed that Keem isn't shutting it down. He constantly brings her up, constantly brings her back in. Because, like, what nobody on the, none of our members want to see this. I personally don't want to see this as a fucking toast. <laughs> but we keep getting Grace on and her chain smoking and, like, her crazy like file father like that <laughs> um uh in my uh, i wouldn't uh alleged no, alleged alleged, like, alleged. Uh, yeah, be careful there. alleged well, alleged well, well i'm not he's not in a file like like yeah he's obviously just not yeah yeah yeah, yeah. We should not. As you I, and I, I should I never misspoke. be swinging that word around. Yeah. yeah without, be careful. Uh, way, I, mean, I haven't lots done anything, of proof, Boogie. Lots of good proof. Good, good proof. Because, like, you know, people have tried to pin it on us, and it ain't even yeah. remotely true. And so, unless you and I got real proof, like, here, here, here's level one thing proof, I have you know? on my side that Boogie is. Cyrax level have. proof. What? I have that? never been accused of sexual misdeviancy from anybody. Yeah. Ever. Yes, you have. I don't think I have You've other than Corpse. <laughs> Who, who, You've been accused. It's all bullshit. What, did I, what accused. was I accused of? Yeah, what were you no, accused of? No, I was talking of, that uh, Wings was accused. Yeah, yeah, yeah what, what was I accused of? Because I don't realize of what it is. You don't know? Yeah. I don't, I don't know, know if I want to bring I don't even want to bring it up because I don't want to give it any Bring it up, bring it up. By the way, because I got to be honest with you, uh, about two years ago, I did like a whole, when I was doing like drama news, which I don't do anymore, I did a whole investigation on you.
which was which, who accused me? What did you find? Which tell, tells everything. I gotta go. I'm going to the memory banks here, but there was a, a family friend that said that you, oh, as Aaron. a teenager, um, tried to get with your your fucking stepsister. Or something no, like that. that. Would be my actual sister. It's not my stepsister. Okay, I, 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 I like, I'm going. I, I don't have it in front of me. But I, will, I did. It, I will. And, I will clear the coffers right now. That yeah. is completely false. I'm sure. Yeah, but actually, by the way, we 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 looked into it and like couldn't find anything. And the guy there was, there, backtracked. There is nothing. Yeah. I lied through my teeth. He backtracked because okay. he lied. Yeah, but, like, I'm pretty what sure. What actually yeah. happened? Here's what actually happened. Taylor was I don't know. In, so, so in her teenage years, she was having her period. And it was particularly heavy that day. And as a older brother, I walked by and clowned on her and said, yo, stinks, and closed her door. Okay. That's it. I knew a guy. <laughs> that's <did>. it. <laughs> oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's, that's it. it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, that's yeah. funny. No, yeah, that's we, funny. That's what I, brothers we, and I, I, I remember my investigation found out the guy that was telling was completely not credible. Yeah. He wasn't credible. Okay, well, then Aaron, credible. Aaron's Jordan, a complete what, what, liar. Hmm. Jordy, what was I accused of? What's the sexual deviancy? But here's the thing. Here, like, this hold on. This, this conversation stuff. started he, like where Wing said he wasn't ever accused. He has been accused, just not credibly. You know, I just yeah, want to make right, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. You yeah, is well, on. I was, when, I, when, I, when, I, when I stated that, I'm like, there, there's no woman out there being like, well, you, you, you were mean to me, and you were sexually abusive, and you raped me, or whatever it might be. Like, like. You you never seen logs or text messages of me being inappropriate. I've always been a gentleman when I've met when I've texted women. I've texted women. Yep, yep, same online. Like because because like when you're in the spotlight, girls come after you, even when you look like Jordy, like a Michelin man's retarded son. They really do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I only had like one person hit on me in like the last two three years. <laughs> it was uh, you want me to start some controversy. <laughs> Um, sure. And I had Ooh, to. Yes, yeah, yeah, please. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, it, it, I think she, she was playing around, but she got to the point where I actually had to shut it down and say, look, I'm married. This is inappropriate. Because she started doing I had a poker server where I was like playing with fans. Um, and <laughs> um, I had to say, look, like, I don't mind the light flirting or anything like that. My wife wouldn't even care about that, right? But this kind of crossed the line, right? And you got to, you know, now you're getting to the point where you're disrespecting my wife. Right, and I'm not mad at you or anything like that, um, but it's it's got to stop. She apologized. That was the end of it. It was Andy Worski's soon to be girlfriend. <laughs> 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 now I know it's gonna get me in a little bit of trouble. I don't really care, um, but she was totally she like she's being inappropriate, right? And I said something, and she apologized, and that was the end of it. But I think it's pretty funny. <laughs> I, I have a story about somebody's wife. Yeah, like um, not well, not counting the other one, but I had a buddy who was uh, going through. He was going through a little bit of a homeless period. Like he couldn't find a place to rent. They both had jobs. They were both what you would consider working poor. Mm -hmm. Like they had the means to rent an apartment, but they didn't have the credit, or there was no apartments available because they 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 were in a time period where you had to have a good credit score to get an apartment. And if you didn't, you had to get like in the ghetto and the ghetto was locked, was already packed up with other people in the same situation. So I like, I'm like, dude, here, I got, I got a spare room, sleep on the couch, do what you got to do. You know, keep a roof over your head. Well, one day I'm over here playing. I think I was fallout three to kind of date myself. And she gets off work early and just comes sits in the room. And like, she had made passes at me before and I knew it instantly. I had to shut this down. So what I did is like, Hey, Let's go to Stan's house. So I needed to get another adult. In the room. So I had an out, you mm. know, like, you go, cause like, that's always my case. Like I try not to be alone with females when there's consequences with their presence. Let's yeah. be fucking honest. Like how many times have you been out with a friend and in a bed with them when you were single? A lot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's inappropriate to yeah. have female friends. Now. All right. Here's the thing. I think. When I was in my prime 20s and 30s, that counted. I'm getting to the point now where that really doesn't matter anymore. So I'm actually having, I have more um, female friendships. And by the way, this is not a rule my wife gave me. This is a self-imposed rule, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. But I, I think when I did kind of was strict about it, I don't have the drama all my friends have. In my personal experience, um, especially because for a while there, I was doing the situation thing quite a bit. Mm. 
uh, when I got into the relationship with Desi or when I got into other relationships between my divorce and now, um, my female friends that were not married or otherwise coupled up permanently, my female friends became acquaintances at best. You're now someone I text once a month to see how you're doing, if that. Uh, just yeah, because, I just that. number one, yeah. there's no reason. Yeah. There's no, you know, but secondly, I don't want anything if interfering with what I got going on. Yeah. If I, if I got a good thing going on, I don't risk it for nothing. So the only female friends that I have now, um, are married female friends who are happily yeah. married. Yeah. I got a first year marriage story. I used to mess with this girl. Was, we were friends with benefits, oh, yeah. but like we, that was all it was. We, we tried dating. It didn't work. You know, it was strictly, we were friends and every now and then it happened, it happened. Right. And then I went around and got married. Right. That kind of, that kind of shows you how cooled off we were. Yeah. But at the same time, I was the guy she went to for car things, right? If she had something wrong with her car or she needed something done to her car, she would always just come to my house and ask me for it. Mm. Well, Did you yeah. stop? about a year into, about a year into marriage, she needed windshield wipers changed on her, on her little SUV. So she pulls up to the house to ask me to change her windshield wipers and Kelly was not having uh, it. <laughs> she was so mad. And the worst you part about it. You told her about this, it, right? you dummy. You should have said, like, that wasn't yeah. my, my friends and Betty's. <laughs> yeah, I was, yeah. I'm honest. I'm honest. I don't lie. I don't lie. Yeah, like, not telling somebody something is omission, not lying. <laughs> no, no, I didn't. No, she knew about her. She knew yeah, about you her. You told her. <laughs> but, I, but I didn't plan on her showing up to the house to put oh, me to okay, change. Oh, yeah. Kelly wipers. wouldn't have it. I bet. I bet. And like she brought me a gift the same day. She knows I collect Coke memorabilia. Mm. So she brought me like a cookie jar that says Coca-Cola on it. So she brings me a cookie jar, hands it to me, and asks me if I'll change her windshield wipers. And Kelly's like, how is this okay? How is this okay? <laughs> <laughs> you, know? <laughs> like, you know, to change the topic a little bit, uh, I saw Adam 22's like uh, Twitter feed the other day, and I ended up muting it. I don't want to like lose the friendship, but like I don't need to be seeing that my timeline anymore what is he doing um, what's, what's he up to and i just like you know his the plug, porn stuff pushing the plug the, the porn, porn stuff, stuff yeah. yeah and i just don't want to see that in my timeline right now um but that said he, his numbers have gone so far down and i checked the replies and somebody said the stu the f downfall of adam 22 needs to be studied and it is genuinely one of the most fascinating downfalls for those of you people don't know um, and I've always had a crazy opinion about this. It's a bad take probably, but whatever. Okay. So Adam and his wife, uh, Lena the Plug, have a talk show where once a week they interview a female porn star and then they both bang <laughs> Right? Okay. And that's... That's what he does for a living. He's a multimillionaire yeah. because him and his girlfriend interview a porn star and then bang them together and film it and put it on their OnlyFans. Okay. So then... So he lets a man have sex with his wife. Finally, finally. To be fair. Destroys totally his fair. career. Destroys you know, his career. Guys don't, like, if you're, like, a rapper or in the rap scene or anything macho, right? Like, there, there is something about, like, nobody wants to see. There's two things you can't do, all right? And 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 and, and, and keep in mind, I'm a live and let live, but do whatever you like. But entertainment, there's consequences. They don't want to see that you're gay, and they don't want to see that anybody's banging your wife. Right, your wife can I, cheat I on you, and you'd be all right because then you're the victim, right? But if you have yeah. any say yep. in it whatsoever, right? People just it it turns guys that look up to my, like like look at Adam Twenty. He's a hip hop guy. He's a white guy in hip hop, right? He's had people showing up through his clips with yep. guns. He's down with all sorts of like cool people in the business, right? And then so you look up to him. It's like wow, that guy's cool. He's got tattoos the whole night. And then you, you let some dude like have your wife. Yeah, my, my thought process was like that's a like a hundred to one ratio for Lena. Let her have the one. Throw that girl a bone. Literally throw that girl a bone. I don't know yeah, if, it was more a of a bone. if it's a career. Yeah, it's I a think career. it was more of a feat. Like mm. Yeah. I, I saw that bone and I don't think she got thrown a bone. I think she got thrown the whole thing. <laughs> but whatever. Um, but I mean, I think the more interesting story yeah. is like like the people and I'm not judging Adam. I don't give a shit, right? People don't want to see that. Right, no, they either. don't want to see that. They want to believe um, that uh, nobody touches your woman. It's okay to have like sex with other women, right? Because then you're more of a badass. But once another dude's involved, like there's something about 
yeah, that mean, that turns people off. Meanwhile, the majority of the, the men that are watching, like, No Jumper and, like, down, the plug show yeah. and stuff like that, like, number one, if you have a woman, a lot of you won't. But if you do, I promise you, that girl's catting around behind your back. Yeah, but that's, uh, that's behind, behind your back is happen different to me, than... Happen to you, happen to everybody. Behind your back is different than take my wife. You can't control her. She can have anybody she wants. She's a woman. Right, but you yeah, can't. I mean, I mean get, like, getting legitimately cut. Yeah, like, 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 yeah, like oh, yeah, I'm okay with, my with wife, it. Please. I no, want no. this to happen. Do it for the money. Do it for whatever. You know, yeah, I get that. People don't want that. Um, there's yeah. another. There's another lull call I want. Do you think it would have made it better if, like, the dude that came by and slid the sausage to his wife gave him his wife in return? <laughs> no. I pro- no. Probably not. Yeah. L- probably like, not. like if it was like a like a swinger kind of situation. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> Probably no. not. I, I don't. I can't get my head into the mindset of people that were upset about that, because um, you know I ain't paying for the show yeah. to begin with. So I don't care. <laughs> like I, that's not. But imagine me at all. being seventeen. So I can't imagine the people and like really into hip hop and thinking Adam Twenty Two is the coolest motherfucker in the world, right? You probably shouldn't be buying anybody's OnlyFans if you're seventeen. Well, I mean, let's, you know, like, all right, all right, whether it's OnlyFans, but I mean, even if you weren't buying any OnlyFans, it doesn't matter. And now, like, here's my wife. Go sleep with her. It just it changes every people hate that shit, man. They hate it. Yeah, I mean, you know, I I definitely don't want that. I, I can't imagine everyone. The only that I guy, a the only guy that gets away with it because uh, his whole his whole audience is cucked is Destiny. Because he's like, yeah, I'm a cuck. I don't care, y'all. You know, that's that's yeah. like his whole thing, yeah. and he's the only one. But he broadcasts. He likes but he it, broadcasts it, to a crowd. Yeah, if it gets them off, you know, that are are a little more acceptable uh, accepting of that. You know, like they're like, you know, ultra progressive and, and, and stuff like that. So I think they're a more, little more likely. And then he also doesn't make any apologies or excuses for it. Right. And he just like, yeah, I do. He made yeah. this crazy comment um, that, yeah, I goes, um, I don't care if my wife sleeps around or gets a bunch of dick because I know she'll be in the bed next to me uh, by the end of the night. <laughs> He said yeah. that. He said that. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not kidding. Yeah, yeah but that's... she could be in the bed next to you with somebody else's yeah, yeah. kid. Well, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, like, yeah. I, like I said, I ain't judging. Is that, is that... I'm going to be honest with you. I don't want you in the bed next to me if you're leaking out somebody's uh... kids. Okay? Yeah. Good or God. Bring, you bring better... a nice bit of gonorrhea to the bed. <laughs> right. Good Lord. Yeah. I... I don't know. Uh, I, there was one other locale I wanted to talk about before this show ends. DSP is on complete and utter meltdown now. I've seen clips of him screaming at not just like somebody who said something critical. Uh, somebody said in his chat, um, editor, please enjoy showing this to everybody. He, someone in his chat said, uh, it, it's hard to get invested in the game because you're quitting games so quickly now. Um, and if I, I don't know that you're going to finish the game, it's hard for me to be invested. I don't know which games you're going to stick with, and you're not. Paraphrasing here, but that's roughly what he said. DSP went off. So I played Hades for three. This is the third stream. People are telling me it's boring. Don't play it. It's not catching on. They don't want it. Okay, this is going to be the last stream of it. Why are you dropping games? Because I'm not a f-ing moron. Okay. How about that? If the numbers are going down and I'm not making money, why would I continue to stream the game? Maybe for the people who are still watching it, that's a good reason. For the, the handful of people that are paid to watch you play that game and finish it, maybe that's a good reason. I don't know. I'm no mathematician. But don't scream yeah, at this but dude. Hold on, hold on. I got to defend Phil <laughs> here. They never no, pay for the game. Please do. They never pay for the fucking game. Like, Phil, you, you buy the game in hopes that you make your yeah. money back. And... You buy the game, and then they sit in there, and they don't donate. They don't subscribe. They don't even hit the like button <laughs> half the time. And, but they will write that nasty f***ing comment. And they will go to the f***ing video dunking on you after you point out they wrote that nasty Right, but see, here's the difference between you and DSP. DSP, you have self-awareness of this, and when it happens to you, you're probably nowhere near as butthurt about it. DSP still thinks he is... Uh, there's a game he played this week, and he said... Hopefully, me playing this game will bring some exposure to the game. Like your total biscuit, <laughs> you're streaming for like a handful of people. You're not. You're not going to put that um, that I mean, independent Phil, developer Phil better, into Phil a does mansion. Better numbers than Anissa. Well, I mean, I don't think you can beat Total anything. Biscuit now. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> No. That guy started streaming. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's technically, doing, now, he's technically doing better yeah. numbers than Total Biscuit now, too. Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. But at the end of the day, I, I, 
DSP is on the full decline, and I genuinely think I don't you're see mistake, it, though. Phil, because I know no, Phil. No, no, no. You'll, I know Phil. This you're you don't saying see his the attitude's on the decline. You don't see the decline. I feel like he's getting no. I'm more saying popular. the numbers, the money, the views. It's all on the decline, and his attitude's going with it. What else is new? I, th- I think you think from, he's always been this way. I, I think that's from things out on out of his control. Because like my streams, money's down, but my viewers are up. But I think uh, our that's views. more because the pe- more people are getting squeezed right now by the economy and well, yeah. the world economy than the in, than ever. I kind of noticed that too, strangely enough. <laughs> yeah. But maybe I, I think we should maybe get duty call of duty uh, uh, on the stream at some point. Uh, duty, if you're issue, interested. But well, but I, like I literally, I'm looking at a clip he picks right his now kid of, up at the time we record. Oh well, I'm literally looking at a clip of of DSP saying right now his viewers are scumbag assholes. He's not wrong. Now listen, you are one of the most hate watched people on the planet. Don't get me wrong, but at the same time, maybe don't attack them back. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't know. Maybe what you're stupid. Think maybe any of this is going to get stupid. you. Stupid. You ever think of that? Maybe think every goddamn That's decision that it. this idiot That's gotta made be it. about no, his no, no, career, no, no, no. even though he was gifted a career. Right, because well, he's, he's he's like one of the first guys to do it. That every decision that he's ever made is just brain fucking dead, and he asks for everything he gets. Maybe that's it. I don't know. Call me crazy. Yeah, I think the stage he's at, and again, I might be projecting here, but he's probably where I was two years ago, where I'm like, all I got to do is keep streaming, and the audience will come back, and I'll get all the money and fame again. No, I won't. No, you won't. It's over, dude. Like, enjoy what you have now while you have it. These are the golden years. This is the best it's going to be. Uh, There's nothing Phil can do to turn it around. There's nothing I can do to turn it around. It's just how it is. There there is something you can do. It's called being satisfied. Yeah, exactly. There, yeah. yeah. I mean, like, satisfaction is the, the desire. When you don't have the aspirations, like, look, I've had my 15 minutes of fame. Let me make what I have work. Yeah, that's the way yeah. I see it. Yeah. Uh, There's nothing wrong with making the, the last season it, of Friends, it right? Su- it you know, sucks. Like, you know what it is. You know what it is. Just well, make you know, it. You know, Enjoy here's, it. Here's the thing. Because like, I was, like, when Baited was tops, I, 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 I never got to your eyes' heights, but I touched it for, like, a second, right? I actually touched it for a yeah, second mm-hmm. in fame. So it when when it broke up, oh god, it sucks. I mean, it, like it, it's tough to deal with. I think I dealt with it better than both of you. But that's an you, li- you live you you live in yeah yeah. But that's in, the uh, way I saw it. Like immediately, okay, let's take what I have and see what it makes it work. Look at this right here. I look at my screen. Okay, this guy TJ Gamebox, right? Uh-huh. He always sends me like what fills up to, right? And this is apparently, um, this this is apparently like what what. Uh, DSP is spending on that WWE game. So he sends that to me. I was like, how much yeah. is that? Seventeen hundred dollars. Seventeen hundred dollars. Just to say he's the baddest guy in here here's the in, in wrestling. Here's the, the wrestling problem. Game. I don't believe that's Phil's account. You don't anymore. think that's Phil's account? Like because who do you give it to? Like if you follow Phil and what and what he makes, now I don't think he ever gave the account up. I don't think it ever was his. Uh, but like don't cat the doesn't ma- cat the, bring in money though? Cat, cat's like she works at like a Kroger or something. I don't he know spent himself into bankruptcy. What makes you think he wouldn't do it again? Both of you guys had surgeries and he kept eating. So wh- wh- why would he be any different? Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. It's not even that. I don't think he's incapable of being a gambler. I think he one hundred percent has a gotcha game habit, but I don't think that's his account because right. the amount he's spending, he won't have it because he's not making. Maybe he's spending hers. Maybe he's spending money he doesn't have. Yeah, but what, what, how much you make at Kroger? Ten bucks an hour. Oh, like, oh, okay. You think you're spending seventy hundred bucks? I don't know. Maybe like, I don't know. Maybe he's finding ways. I don't know. Like, the people that are degenerates find ways. I mean, you think he's maxing credit cards? Yeah, maybe. Out? I find ways. Win, win Gambling addicts find ways. Shock me at all. Wouldn't shock yeah. me at all. Because th- that's yeah. a possibility. Yeah. He could be yeah. maxing credit cards out again because he did that. And yeah, I don't know if that's that's legit or not. But I, I gotta be honest with you. That guy, I don't look. It, it is a troll. It's a tractor. So I gotta take it with a pinch of salt. But I don't. I don't get the feeling he's bullshit. Me, <laughs> maybe he is. You know, again, Mike Klum was pretty tight-lipped when it comes to DSP, um, and he he absolutely wants DSP to do this documentary. So he's going to be really, really nice to DSP in the hopes that he gets this documentary done. But even just like, just Mike's reaction when I'm like, dude, is that account really his? And Mike's just like, I'm not Smart saying. For him. I'm not saying. Well, well, well if you knew it wasn't, you would say. If you knew it wasn't, you would say it isn't, right? Like, I think he I, does. I, I think he does play WWE champions because he's been caught playing WWE champions on the down low. Yeah. But do I think he's like one of the top whales for the game? No. no. All right. Fair enough. That, Fair that's enough. my, that's Fair my enough. stance. You could right be right. That's you my be stance. Right. But I, like, it, 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 you know, you know, it's so good. I, <laughs> you know, 
Yeah, yeah you could be. I, but if you are, he, if you are, he's literally like using other people's money at an interest rate to fund his Hogan addiction. <laughs> I will say, watching him go on these tirades, though, what's killing me is he'll then in the same like podcast, same blood, like ten minutes later, say, "Look." I'm a successful man. I'm running a successful business. Yeah. I have a successful marriage. And like, how can you be a, a, some, I, I don't know, well, they call no, it the no, but see, no or one something. projects a lack of success better than DSP does. And he does. And he's a megalomaniac too. So it's perfect. He thinks he's more important than he is. He thinks he's more powerful than he is. Uh, and, and, um, is not afraid, like in his mind, like that's, I'm sure that's the way he feels. You know, you know what scares me the most? Cause I, me and Phil are very similar. No, you're like, not. We both no, like you're beg not. for money. No, you're not. No, not like at that. all. Not but mentally, like, mentally. Well, mentally, well we though. both not were in the same situation. We both lived off yeah. our stream for years. Right. Sure. Yeah. yeah. And, and it's like, you know what scares the f out of me? Like every day I wake up, I'm like, is this the day that people stop showing up? I think up? that's a like every time I have a bad stream, like I had a bad stream last night. I made like twenty three dollars in like three hours or something, and it fucked me up mentally the rest I'm of the sure night because I'm like, are like are the donations over? Like it's like is this revenue source gone? Like you know I get mm. in my head about it right, and it affects my mood. It turns me sour. This is where I get the low cow shit from. You see, I don't get that. See, like because I'll have a, like I'll have a stream like that where I only make twenty yeah. bucks, and then the, my next one I'll make five. You know, it, it just it always has been like that. I never can beat myself up for having a bad stream. Never, never. And I did. Yeah. I, I, but, I do talk you, shows see, and topical stuff. Like it's crazy. a little easier for me than it is for you, in fairness, right? But I, it always seems to turn around somehow mm -hmm. as long as you just keep going with it. And I don't have any, I don't have as many controversies as you guys have. Yeah, I had to tell myself that it's a marathon, not a sprint. You know, I might make twenty dollars yeah, today. I might make but something happen yeah. now. On like, the, yeah, on yeah. The, yeah. I, th I think one of the dumbest things I did was listen to Caleb Hammer, not in terms of like paying all down some debts and stuff, which I did. Uh, and it was smart. I did create wiggle room and help improve my credit and stuff. But he was like, I would stop with the streaming. I would avoid the streaming. It's a huge waste of your time. Uh, you know, and I'm like, all right, yeah, maybe he's right. And so I, I, I stopped. I tried a couple of times this year to boot it back up. And then it, Caleb's in the back of my head. But yeah, I think it, if you're consistent, you keep doing it. You're going to be fine. I think streaming is a good source of income. I don't think you should like you should do like video game streams, but I think you should have at least once a week just do a I agree. talking stream. I think and you should, you're right. It yeah. should be a schedule. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And I you're you're you'll you'll make more money, I yep. guarantee it. Yeah, I think once everything slows down in terms of travel because of the summer, um, I think I think that's something sure. I want to do. And you know, me and me uh, and Wings could come right, on. Right I could now, come like, on one episode and then he could come on one episode, probably hell. You know, probably Akeem. I want to boot up back the, uh, okay, I know a lot of people don't make it this far into the podcast. If you do, I hope you did. Um, but I want to boot back up the interview thing that I had going on. A lot more people have shown interest in sitting down with me for an hour and like letting me, here's what I want, here's what I talk to people about, what your rise yeah. to fame on the internet was like, what it's like to be yeah. at the height yeah, and where you're, doing you're at that, now. You're doing and, that because you don't want to fill the air yourself. People don't come here to watch you do. Interviews. Oh no, no, no. I did like they I did like. But he can do that on his own channel. Is what he's saying. You know, I mean, I, yeah, I'm saying like yeah, I understand uh, it. I understand that. But I'm saying like I wouldn't start with that. That would be like okay, we're going to interview this guy this week. But most yeah, of the yeah, time yeah, yeah. it's going to be me. Well, I don't mean necessarily streaming. That would have been like a pre-recorded thing. I'd give him final cut the whole nine yards. But I think I could get. Like I mean, you know, Turkey Tom did it, but like a lot of my friends have done it. Hell, you guys would do it. I do. It. Um, and I yeah, and it's just like. I, I, I'm hoping it's entertaining, but like I also hope it helps spawn some people into like becoming tomorrow's creators, right? Like, hey, this is how Tommy did it. This is how Jordy did it. Maybe I can do it. Maybe I can learn something from what they did right, what they did wrong. And I don't know. I had I wanna, huge creators I wanna... come through me, you know, that did interviews. Call me Carson. Yeah. James Marriott. Yeah. I, 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 bro yeah. I, I broke fucking creators as far as like, this Tony. show. Like I, I said this on the live stream last night, but this show paid for, I'm holding it right here in my hand, $1,100 worth of a Zep Bound in my hands right now. This show paid for this this month, and I, God bless you guys. I'm so glad. But the show has also like changed my mindset. This show has changed so much, and it's also shown the fact that yeah, I, I'm getting DMs again. Like People that I would DM a, a year ago and be like, hey, man, how you doing? I wouldn't hear from them. Now they're writing me because this show is successful. All right, well, let's give I, a, so the, if that's happy. the case, let's give them what they want. Why is your ass trying to get me fired when the one day that I wasn't going to be there. Let's talk about that boogie. 
What? You heard me. What are you me. talking about? You heard me. I heard all three of you on that stream on the Tuesday night when I that I had to call I out. said nobody, if he wants to set hey, in. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because I got in a fight with you. I get a fight with fun. you. I get a fight with you. Tommy, I've been I've been on three phone, phone calls fighting to keep you oh, on this show. Oh, you okay. know oh, that. Oh, so you're telling keep you to keep know me? that. <laughs> What do you mean? Do what? I've always wanted to keep you on the show. Yeah, well, it I didn't look like, like that. And I tell you I something would, else. The fans didn't see it that way. Well, I look how it was look. No, uh, I, it didn't look that way. And that's why the fans saw it either. Um, if you looked well, that's at fine. the, if you looked at um, the um, Reddit, uh, there was like, you better keep Tommy. You better keep Tommy. And I yes, actually please. saw the clip, and I could see why they came to that conclusion. It looked like I, you. Like, here's the thing I heard. You're right. The guys in the in in the Discord after after yeah, the yeah. last episode we did, the one prior to Cyrex, came to me and they said you cried to them right bit after you cried to them about me being mean to you. And when the episode was yeah, released, yeah. you cried again. Oh, what a bastard! Who is them? I was. Who is them? The, is this the, the, the Discord store? guys. Is that true? The Discord guys. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, true. Oh, okay. I went to the I went to the Discord, of course, and I hyped, I hyped the episode and talked about it and like talked about what we discussed and everything else. And I was also making jokes about it and all this other. Because by being, the end of that conversation, I, don't know. I can't tell because I don't believe by, anything. Yeah, I hear. but by the <laughs> there's, there's yeah, but by the end of that conversation, you and I were good. So like oh, by the we time I good, went to the Discord, but we I were didn't good. Get, yeah. I, make, I didn't make the Thursday show, and everybody's whining that I couldn't go to wherever the hell you guys are going to. Um, and it did seem like, yeah, Keem, why don't yeah. you come on yeah, this weekend? <laughs> If, if you if play the clip right now, uh, editor, but what I was trying to say is Keemstar said, do I need to like come in with you guys and replace Tommy on a couple episodes and then yes. I'll go get the guest next week? Yep. I think I'm going to take my turn. I don't have a problem with it. And he's going to get his chance because I'm going yeah, on vacation. Yeah, of course not. But uh, exactly, have yeah. you been running to Keem trying to convince him after I owned your ass so completely in that episode? Have you been trying to get me cash can? That's what I'm wondering. No. No? Okay. No, of course not. No, we have not. You, I, talk to ask Keemstar yourself. Oh, yeah, I've not talked you. to Keemstar I'll about you. I have no interest it. in talking to Keemstar about you because the fans yeah, took it that way too. But I would just like too. verified if you want. The, fan, you know. the fans, but took, the fans not, took it that way too. Listen, so I'm not completely out of. I'm not like, like out of pocket here. All right, yeah. but here's what I said on the Discord. Okay? okay, the way this is structured, if you get fired tomorrow, you still walk away with a paycheck. So why would I want you to? do free labor we were because the next you with somebody check else. is yours now we got to give them a chunk of it do you know what i'm saying like you you get 25 percent of this show no matter what right so i don't think why, so. Why the, i think why, i'm can I'm, I'm pretty sure i think that's how it works <laughs> yes, i'm pretty sure that's how it works <laughs> it's connor yeah connor, well connor, connor, connor was, was never a partner connor was an owner yeah. he was a yeah. employee yeah Right, we have we have we have basic paperwork. I so mean, you like weren't trying, emails and stuff. You weren't trying that, to rat me out. Huh? You're trying to get me out of here. Huh? No, okay, I mean, no. Like, I, like, Tommy, if you, I'm Tommy, being honest, we owe you 25 percent for not showing for up for nothing. Work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't um, do that. That said, that said, do, do I have a beef with you, Tommy? To some degree, yes. I'm not used to, and I, I oh my god, everybody's gonna hate this, but it's true. Okay. I'm not used to dealing with somebody like you. My brother was 10 years older than me. He was out of the house by the time I was gone. I was friends with mostly females growing up. I was friends with mostly females throughout most of my life. I get along great with women. They look at me. They feel like I'm not like a dangerous, scary man. They, they see how soft and weird I am. I'm friends with women. I have never busted my balls that much. Even my Magic the Gathering playgroup, we're all soft pussy nerds that play Magic the Gathering, so we don't do this shit, okay? I've never been in my life with a man that busts balls and then says the shit you say and does the shit you say. You didn't know that? Right? I don't have a low contract. I'm just saying. Look, I don't care, I, I don't care I, that people call me a low It count. triggers the shit out of me. It triggers mm. the shit out of me sometimes, and then I have a complete mental breakdown, but what's so great about it is even after those mental breakdowns you and i come to an understanding oh, and i realize it's I'm not never that bad because i don't like to fight i don't like I to do. argue i don't like to I raise like my to voice fight. i don't do it i don't do it in fact i lost a friend earlier this year because he was coming over to my house and picking fights and i'm just like hey me and you i, I that's not copacetic for me i seek harmony in this house saturday night's supposed to be fun i don't want people fighting and he's like cool then i just won't come around anymore and i ain't seen him in six months and well, I i'm a better him. friend than him <laughs> you are you are <laughs> you know, so so you're but, saying you're not used to a man being like a man. Uh, yeah, you, you, you don't. You're not used to a man being like an asshole. I'm not used to a man being so an asshole. 
but yeah. you grew but you grew up with your parents hitting you with beer bottles and smoking menthol <laughs> cools in your face. That was like, all like, my how does mom. This make sense? That, that was all my mom. <laughs> my dad. I mean, we we know the one thing my dad to me, but my dad was an alcoholic. By the time I was conscious, like five years old, he was gone, dude. He was a oh, so a, like a pap- so you're not by he yourself. He was a six so pack. Like maybe maybe there's a pattern. Yeah, he was a six pack of Pabst Blue Ribbon for breakfast kind of moonshine by lunch kind of guy by the time I was like five. So you know what I did notice though? Uh, if I gotta give you both a break, when I was in the army, I was uh, I was down in Georgia, and the East Coast balls busting does not work with the Southern guys as much. Like they're not no. they, they don't take the ball busting like like up north. It, it, I think it is a little cultural. It is. I, I mean, you walk around the South and yeah, all you day, talk like that, you get smacked in the mouth. Hey, man, sure. how you doing? How's yeah, yeah, yeah. your mom? I had to get them, used to that. You know? I had to get used to that because, like, growing up, and, and be honest, it's, it's a legitimate, like, defense mechanism. If somebody's being really nice to you, they could be setting you up to rob you. They could be fucking with you. You know, I mean, yep. that's, like, a legitimate. I'm not, I'm not like, making sweet. it up. Like, so, like, I, if I, I'd be down in um, uh, Augusta, right? And, like, hey, how y'all doing? I'm like, who the fuck are you, motherfucker? <laughs> you know, I mean, it, I had to get over that because people down south, this is crazy. They're actually nice. <laughs> They're actually no, like, it's, here's it, the thing. It, 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 they really mean it. You know? yeah, it's, here's it's the thing we, about because everybody's got a pocket knife in the south. Yeah, 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 so, like, yeah, 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 but I, you get to take it yeah, to the but hospital. I, the only you. place. Here, here's the truth about the south, actually, yeah. Tommy, is we'll be like, hey, man, how's your mom and them? All right, then. And then they'll, as the moment you walk away, they'll turn to your friend and like, I hate that. Mother. Really? Then you guys are bad. Every then. single one of them. Yeah, and you yeah, guys are bad. That is abs- I've heard of them a million fake. times. It, it, like, there's the people you actually like, but you'll be nice to the people you hate. You're a Yankee down here. Bless your heart is actually an insult. Oh, you know, I heard that. Oh, bless I heard that a heart. lot. Yeah. I, I heard that yeah. a lot. Yeah, it's funny you say yeah. that. that. That's the oh, southern way of saying fuck you. I had this guy, I was, I was, I had this guy from Georgia. Uh, he was like one of my best friends in the military. His name is Pate. He died a drug addict after the army. Poor guy. But I loved him to death. And um, we got an argument. We were in like Hollenfeld's Germany, right? And we got a huge argument, right? And he says, you know, you Yankees, you know, y'all rude. Y'all, you, 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 don't, you don't say, I, I was raised to say, uh, yes, sir, no, ma'am, and y- 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 Yankees. And I said, listen, I was like, listen, mother, all right? I was raised to say, yes, sir, no, ma'am, well, and I'm as Yankee as it gets. And you know what? When yeah. I use that, yes, sir, no, ma'am, thank you, stuff that I had been raised with as a child, y'all looked at me funny. That's right. So I think it's, I think a lot of your friendliness is a bit fake. And he looks at me, he goes, it no, is. and he goes, but this is what he said. That's because they don't think you mean it. <laughs> <laughs> and he was kind of right. You know, like, oh man, God bless uh, Pete, man. He was a great dude. So well, that, we didn't do the Kino Casino thing where they called you a pedophile. Oh yeah, let's talk All about right, that fine. real quick. Kino Casino uh, dissed the show, which I get it. It's uh, you know men no no no, no. They, dissed you. they dissed you. They like me. They, they like specifically <laughs> they specifically dissed me as well. And uh, show the clip if you like. You're right. Like we are taking the bait on this. But it's just insane. Like you, sh- <laughs> you can't say this. Sh- be him pretending to be a pedophile bait. Yeah, it just doesn't go well for anybody. <laughs> like even if it is bait, it's insane. We can all make fun of Boogie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I don't care. Yeah, yeah. That'll be a good episode. <laughs> come on. Yeah, well, come over here. Know. Call me a pedophile all you want. I don't care. It's I actually it's like, like, a good legitimate um, questions for PPV. Like how he broke into the scene is kind of like a really cool story. You know, he yeah. like he. I, 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 I got. I, I know. I'm gonna get fashion tips. I wanna be like. I wanna be like the Walmart version of PPP on my streams. Wait, wait is he Canadian or he, from Minnesota? Like, where does he get that crazy accent? And that I don't know. He he has. He's got that Jim Sterling energy though. Yeah, I don't know where he's from. Big fat fucker. He can make fun of your fat ass. <laughs> I I, I gotta be honest I've always had a certain amount of respect for PPP because he literally burst the like he's I think he's abandoned it now but there's this sort of thing in that right wing universe about selling out and doing like overproduced stuff and that's he came out after Medicare ever every like after Ralph after everybody he's like you guys all you gotta do is sit up here and talk and he used to go on and people were like he was streamed like thousands and stuff like that and he got it out with fucking Mediger and he had it out with all these guys and then he worked that in the Kino Casino which is a little more of a commercial veteran venture which by the way I'm not calling him a hypocrite or anything it's just look you want to make money doing this that's what you got to do you know and uh like that whole rise to be just a I don't know fat kid from Minnesota or Canada or wherever he's from to 
um, starting that show is like an interesting story. And he can, you know, call Boogie a p out, which is funny to me too. <laughs> yeah. I've only seen a couple of his clips, but dude, I'm I'm a fan. Oh, I'm kind of a fan too. He's, yeah, he, there's something about yeah, he's, he's funny got a personality. Yeah. Man. So I, the, like, they, yep. they, you know, it, it's funny. Like Andy Warski went into like convincing some dumbass to point guns at somebody who's. I wonder if that guy's in prison. Um, and to to, to turning it all around in Casino Casino. Have you ever heard? That? Have you seen that 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 Warski clip? He no. he got some guy down in Florida, right? Um, who had a concealed carry permit. And they had um, the N word coming off on their donations. They were doing an IRL stream, and like people were getting pissed off. White guys, they, they're getting pissed off, and they were, you know, following them out. Probably going to beat their ass. And like the guy with the, I, he kind of got peer pressured into it. In my personal opinion, he whipped out the piece. And Worski's famous. Stay back, stay back, stay. The they thought in Florida that if anybody kind of come up, came up on him, they could shoot him. Swear to God, like Worski was probably at the top of his cocaine thing at the time. And yeah, guess what happened? Yeah. Cause they invite, that's not what, um, I forget, what do they call that down in Florida? Stand your ground? It, it's it, like, Castle so yeah, yeah. So they arrested the guy. I don't know if he ended up doing time or not. Certainly lost. I mean, he, he got charged with a felony. I don't know what happened. I was gonna interview him at some point. I, I lost track of him. And he, they told like uh, like I remember Warski talking to the cop. He's like, "Well, just stand your ground." It's like not if you invite it. <laughs> Warski didn't get yeah. charged, uh, but he, got... they were totally like encouraging this guy to pull his gun, and he's probably sitting in prison right now. So maybe they want to come on now. <laughs> <laughs> and we got the case too uh, for the gun. Let me end it. You yeah, get to yeah, start. We got plenty. To edit. We got plenty to talk about. We got plenty yeah. to talk about. Okay. Yeah. That said, guys, come on the show. You've been listening to Low Count Live. We hope you enjoyed uh, this episode starring Jordy, Tommy, and me. Are we out of here, Tommy? We're out of here. Thank you so much for your patronage. Yeah. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you guys in the Discord. I hope you were, we're, we're really starting to grow and we're getting the benefits of it and we really, really appreciate it. And maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe one day you, guys. we make more money, I can fly out and see y'all, which I'd really like to do one day. But that is not in the cards now yes. while I'm trying to get a house. So tough sh Now then, they're still that. taking I'll my money that. even though I'm not going. So um, you guys, uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you for paying yeah. for 25% yeah. of my Airbnb, well, Tommy. I can believe that. <laughs> I don't know if I'll go over that again. I gotta be honest with you. Uh, I got a uh, family. Uh,